Hey girl, I wanna catch your wave. Welcome back to Fenway Productions. For today, we're reading the 14th chapter of this story I've been reading. If you don't know what it is by now, go back to the beginning and figure out. Pulled a little sneaky on you there. Well, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. It's going to have a little gallant from the library to show a few more. Hoping to think I would be able to help them locate Scott. When they walked through the doors, just like before, they were immediately greeted by the hyperactive Pink Pony. Hi again, she said, a wide smile on her face. Did you come back to have more of my super delicious cupcakes? Not today, thank you. Scooby. And then said Scooby. An unsure look on her face. She wasn't fully used to Pinky's mannerisms yet. In fact, they sort of scared the little filly. We came here because we need to talk to you about something rather important. Pinky raised an eyebrow at the two fillies before her. She recalled that Rarity had wanted to talk about something important just yesterday. Eventually, Pinky and I shrugged her shoulders and asked, Let me guess, you want to talk somewhere private, right? Man, why is my room so echoey? I think I said that last episode, but... Every time I make like that noise, with the uh, nest noise, it just echoes. That's weird. The two families exchanged unsure looks at one another. It's almost like the pink party pony was reading their minds. A little shaken at the question, the two of them simply nodded their heads at her. My oh, mic's kind of loose. Where the mic stand is. It's another slow, because it was another slow day, I think he was the fillies into the kitchen to talk. She had a feeling they were here to talk about the same thing we already wanted to talk about yesterday. However, because she pink promised not to say anything, she wouldn't bring it up. Or didn't bring it up, not wouldn't. When they were all alone, I was gonna ask, I was gonna, I know this is gonna sound a bit strange, Pinky, but what do you know about somebody named Scott? <laughs> Without thinking, Pinky said, what is it with everybody lately? Seems like everybody's trying to find Scott. It's a big deal with him, seriously. How long is going to get you to make a prize point to part of the pink you said it was pretty evident that somebody else was on the search for Scott as well. They didn't need to think hard and know that it was probably already who approached the pink pony already. Just to be sure, I'll let wait, who else asked about Scott? Pinky's face turned into a look of worry. She turned back her back on them and said, Nobody else. Come on, Pinky, says who you can tell us. We Pinky promised we would But I already Pinky promised that I wouldn't say anything, blurred the pony. Therefore, I'm not saying anything. But she pretended to, pretended to lock the lid with an imaginary lock and threw away the imaginary key. Like a, like an adult. I did that when I was like in kindergarten. And she crossed her own, let out a hmph, keen on, keen on keeping her promise, not saying anything about it. About anybody. Lighting out a sigh, who heard, do you know anything about Scott or not? Scott or not? Not a word. Not a single word. Pinky probably just shook her head back and forth, her puppy name following suit as she did, knowing that they weren't going to get anything more out of her. Two silly sighed and left the bakery, defeated looks on their faces. The two fillies had found themselves sitting in Pineville's Park on a picnic bench that was nearby. As they sat, they still had defeated looks on their faces. They had hoped Pinkie Pie would have talked a little bit more about Scott, but it seemed like Rarity had brought to her first, making her promise not to talk to anybody about it. While they sat at school, had a look on her face. It looked that she had, she had something on her mind, and that was she was concentrating all her thoughts on that one thing. She was staring down at the table, her eyes shifting back and forth, lost in thought, in whatever thought she was having. <coughs> had noticed, but chose not to say anything about it. How they watched her friend sitting in the same position for nearly ten minutes straight. Who's keeping track? Tom. Like, from the original Sonic.exe. If you don't get what I mean, go watch your Area of Wind video on the original Sonic.exe and you'll get, you'll get it. He decided, I mean, I guess that's what nearly's for, but still. She decided to try to snap her out of whatever train she was 
Are you going to tell me what's on your mind or do I have to beg? Oh, so cool. Finally, I think Google out of her thoughts. Oh, sorry, he said. She said, a small smile like coming across her face. I was just thinking, that's all. I know you've been thinking for the past ten- I know you've been thinking for the past ten minutes, shouted Alcohol. And now for the million- Bit? Bit? Tells a bit. You mean, I assume it's the currency around there, but- you know, million dollar, but, whatever, what do you think about, what do you think about this whole situation so far, from what I've gathered, none of it makes any sense, explain the focus with Philly, there's not one of the, there's not one thing that seems right about all this, what do y'all mean, asked the yellow Philly, think about it for a moment, Rarity, fantastic, Thinking why about Scott, right? Yeah. Rarity is Sweeney World's sister. Why didn't Rarity already know everything about Scott by now? Sweeney World should have told her everything about him. Awful room. Thought about it. For a moment? Thought about it for a moment. Sweeney did have a valid point. Now ask yourself this, continued the orange Rarity. When we were talking with her earlier, it didn't seem like she wanted to talk about him at all, right? Um, what does that have to do with anything? Ask Apple. I don't know about you, but if I had a crush on somebody, whether I'm sure I liked him or not, I would definitely talk to about it, to about it and tell everybody about him. I guess you're right, but that doesn't really... The whole thing seemed way too suspicious. Interrupted. Waving her small arms in the air. Why is, there, why is she so resistant to introduce him to anybody, including her own sister? Why is it that she's trying her best to avoid talking about him every time he's brought up? I don't know about you, but something doesn't add up. So what are you saying? After a confused alcohol. I'm saying that... Uh, what I'm saying is that Sweetie Girl is up to something. But the question is what? She's hiding something. She doesn't want anybody to know. There's a moment of silence between the two of them. Sweetie kept pondering on the thoughts while... <coughs> rested her head on the table. She saw the logic in what Scoodle was saying, but she couldn't find a motive to support it. I'm gonna quit saying their names in that weird voice because I don't know. However, she was probably let Scoodle handle the whole thing, the whole sweet girls up to something thing, and not to interfere with it. So, for the lack of anything else to say, so have you figured out where you recalled the name Scott from yet? Not yet. Oh, I gotta mumble that. It says mumble food. Not yet. Mumble food. I know I've heard it somewhere, but I can't remember where. Gra. Gonna grind in my mind until we get in hopefully we will introduce us to him. But we find him ourselves. Whichever comes first. <coughs> Sorry, my throat. My throat bad. How are we gonna find him ourselves? Asked the yellow filly. The only possible lead we had was Vicky Party, and she's been sworn to silence by Rarity. Twilight isn't going to have the princess help us unless we tell her who we need to look for and why. I don't see why we couldn't tell Twilight about it in the first place, argued the orange Philly. We are bound to find out about it anyway. Think about it, that one. Too many but pieces of blah 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 blah. Plenty of know that. Already know about it as it is. Already apple paid by an applejack. That's more ponies than the more ponies who know about it. It's the worst it's gonna get. Besides, we can't keep Pinky promising everybody not to tell anybody about it. It's going to arouse suspicion. Knowing that Apple Moon was what Apple Moon was saying was true, so that a defeated sigh and said, Still, there's got to be a reason she's keeping it a secret from everybody. Just like there's a reason I know the name. I mean, could it be that hard to tell that she's lying? It's like she's lying about the whole thing. Like, I mean, maybe that's what they're getting at now, but, like, it just doesn't feel like it. Well, there's no point in wasting our time on it now. The only option we have is to wait until Rarity wants to see Scooby. Once we get out of house arrest and, introduce, and she introduces us to him. 
Only then will we be able to get to the bottom of this. I guess you're right. Judge Gulu defeat. Her voice defeated and deflated. Knowing there's nothing else they could do at this point, the two schools blow up the pizza guys and eventually left the park. <coughs> we had him towards our homes. My friend Kung said all they could do now is wait. Well. Um. Yeah. I don't really know. Um. Like I said, I don't really know what's going to happen in this story. But now we have, what? We have under 20 left. And I feel like we're getting to something good because 5 in chapter 20 is called The Truth. I feel like well, there's something good coming up then. Yeah. Um, sorry I didn't make a lot of comments during this one. I don't know, I'm just kind of tired, you know, and just feel, I don't know, like I want to get through it, yeah, whatever, well, this is Runway Productions, signing out.